I got the video rolling here now. I got the video game rolling. I just started the video, so anybody that wants to hear themselves uh, talk, ghost talk, whatever, I'm back in the quiet chair. Hey, 
Rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, come on. How long is it going to take you to mess up that stitch them? <laughs> you think you're funny with that one, don't you? I know you got a little cover 29 sound, but that old 121 and old country rabbit, the tri state mud ducks, we well, do our deal. Right now, radio cut off. Bump, bump. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. You better hope and pray I never get a hold of 121's vehicle. For so what? He's talking with a spray. 121 do his deal, bro. He got a Cadillac gel like me. He do his deal. He did his thing, too. Same way. See, one thing we do know, we do a lot of radio talking, a lot of listening. Well, I just want you to know, if he ever comes by me, the next time he's in the same parking lot with you, you gotta take the back seat. Where is he? I heard him out there. 121, where is your mud duck group butt? See, he's so mud duck group, he ain't got a copy on me. There is a lot of atmospheric noise static tonight. Tonight's a good night for the noise blanker button. What about Israel? What about Israel? You've seen what happened to Israel in the end, right? Waving a hand, Richie. It's Mumbles. Waving a hand, brother. Mumbles, long time no here. How you doing, sir? Everything A to the K, brother. Everything A to the K. All good. Yeah, how we sounding down around your way tonight, Mr. Mumbles? Then I don't even want to pull the cover back off this box, man. I, I shut it down, covered it up, put a put a jacket on, cause you know, I figure, I figure it can, she go to sleep before me. So, when I'm ready to go to sleep, I tuck her in first, then I cross the room and go lay down. You know? Gotcha, Richie. What am I doing over there? Five six? No negative. I'm on my Galaxy. It's got a tight meter. I got you three to the five, which would probably be a normal five to the seven. Roger on the stock radio. Well, it might be stock or somebody might have told you it's stock, but I can guarantee you, if you put it on that meter, that audio and watt swing is going to tell you somebody turn the audio up just a wee bit. Roger, Roger. And stop on that. Roger's dodges. I'll be on the side, Richie. Good to hear you, brother. Check, check, sir. Ah, the MTA make a channel 19 grade again. Ah, my brother have no mercy when you come at me. Yeah, that's channel 19 on the Mars radio too. <laughs> what? Listen, listen, you put me to sleep. I'm going to sleep, man. I like them, and I don't like them. I despise them because of the the the, the mosfet in them. I'm sorry, I do. 
if they would have made that radio with a 2078 or a 2312 or a 1969, yo, <laughs> I ordered the new 29, the new 29, the new 29. I know, you've seen quite a few of them on my table, bro. Go through my video channel, you'll see those nice different colored lights in this place. Alright, do me a favor, pop back up your order and link me the page so I can see what you're talking about because the only one I'm familiar with is the LX and uh, the, the, the LX, the, the, there's the LX model that's a little more full featured so. It's the same thing he's talking about, about this one right here got a different feature. He got, it's an LX 29 LX but it got a, a, a radar detector in it, it got built in radar detector, it got all that shit into it. That's the one you're talking about. It's a new one just came out. All right, so that's what I'm trying to get at. What you're telling me is that the LXs that we've been seeing for the last couple of years, first generation, they did some upgrades or, you know, they, they it's a next generation LX is what you're saying. Yeah, it's a next generation. You turn the mic, you turn it up by the mic. You, it's just like you do with the Rangers 2950. You turn it up by the mic. You talk, you got the Bluetooth on the mic. You do everything. You do everything you want. You got a radar detector with the police in front of you. It, it go off. It do all that. Roger on a radar detector as well. All right. Well, I, you know, I, I want to see what he's talking about. And last but not least, I can only assume, and this is where assume comes in bad. I can only assume it's got the same board in it as the 29 LX first generation just a little more hopped up with some additions, so. Um, but, you know, if he's getting it brand new, I want to make sure I'm able to access the service manual before I accept going into it to match it up. Well, you're hearing one right now. You're hearing one right now. That's what we're trying to tell you. You're hearing one right now. You said you want a 29 night watch. Alright, well listen, when you come over for bringing them other things, bring that one so I can run outside with mine and we, you know, my cover will be open and you can crack that one. I just want to see if it's the same board. If it's the same board, I already got the service manual for it, so I'm good. It is the same board. Ain't no different. That's the reason I know what I'm trying to tell you. It's the same board, but the only thing about it is you got features in it, like for the radar detector, for the police. And the mic is square, and the mic got the volume on the mic, but I don't use that mic. I use something different. But right now, like I say, matter of fact. What's the amp chain, 2312 or uh, 520? Say that again? What, what finals in the back? Uh, I ain't look at the finals. I'm not even tell you no lie about that, but I know it's the same board, and that change, the only thing about it just put that that shit on the mic, got the Bluetooth, just like the regular one with the Bluetooth, same way, no different. And they got the, um, so far, I know they got the, uh, the radar detector. That's it. All right, man, yo. Ah, my eyes are fighting to stay awake. I'm gonna go take me a power nap, man. No doubt. And the radio made just alike. They're the same kind. It looks just alike, just the mic different. $20. Another $20, I'll call you $240, really good shipping to have it. Oh, you paid two forty for yours. See, I had got mine from the store where the place was, was 179 with the tax and everything, 185 180 something so I got mine straight from the place. So you got your order offline, so that's why shipping and handling everything. I can cancel that order if you know where somebody somewhere cheaper. No, I was at a uh, CB shop, and I had got it at a CB shop. I was up... Uh, I was somewhere else. Hey, Brooklyn kid. Yeah, go ahead. I, I would link me the page real quick to so show me what it is to know if you need to cancel that order because uh, I'm sure there isn't a brand new in the box unit I couldn't deliver a whole lot cheaper. 
and I could show it to you, you know. I, listen, just link me to page. Link me whatever you just ordered. Send it. Go to that page. Go to that purchase or whatever, that Amazon page or whatever it is you do, that, that site. And just share that page with me through the text. Hit the top right corner, the share function, send it through the text. Let me see what you're talking about. Just Google it, Richie. I just saw I got it. I went to, I went to um, Google and I, and I did the 29 CB New Radio and it came up. All right, well, my Ohio distributor, the 12 volt warehouses, they're not open till Monday morning, so I won't be able to give you a better price till Monday morning. But my suggestion is if you got it offline, there's already three or four markups there. My suggestion would be hold off till Monday, man. Let me see what number I could throw at you from them. I'm, listen, yo, this is, this is the two places that I rolled up to with trucks and took truckloads out of for my store. So I'm trying to tell you, these are the big dogs in Ohio. Yeah, I'm going to cancel the order right now. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm just canceling the order right now. Because I just, I put, just put the order in today so I can cancel it. But, um, yeah, if you still read the mail, I definitely need the, some numbers from you because that's the radio that I want. Well, I'm not going to lie. There isn't a Cobra radio manufactured out there on the market today that's not a 10-meter export. That should be anywhere after $200. Uh, I think the best 148 shouldn't even pass 179 so it's obviously something new there. And uh, whatever the deal actually is, man, I'm trying to tell you, I have, the number I'm going to give you will blow your mind. So just, just, all right, whatever. Listen, I need some sleep. Just. Pay attention to what I told you, I'm clear. Yeah, for a rabbit. Yeah, go ahead, kid. I'm sending I'm sending that shit to him right now for he can see it. Yeah, I just want to ask one more question. Um the, the, the um distributor that you got, you say you got it from 179? Yeah, but I got it from a CB shop, the first one who I know. They have more? I'll sign up for you. I'll call them. Give me a minute. Let me call right now. All right. That's all I want to know. If there's more, I need two. I need two because I got to get girl watching one. Well, don't make no moves till after I call my girl sitting in RKO down there. Uh, listen, I got a contact in RKO and a contact in DAS. Don't make no moves till I give you that two numbers. The number I'll be giving you will be for a two-piece. Alright, let me uh let me swap this over to the other phone because you you sent it to the phone that's not the smartphone. Uh I'm clear. Okay, can I send it to the phone that uh you called me from this morning? Yeah, whenever you're sending me equipment or text or shit like that, sharing pages, always the 9757. That's what I got set up for that. Oh, uh, okay. Resend it to 9757. Get to that phone, then. You look at it, you'll see it. Resend it to 9757. There we go, Mr. MIA 121, Mr. Mud Duck Group. Yeah, be a mother. You gotta give me that number again, because I ain't got it in this phone right now. I only got that number. No, you don't. Any text message I send to you, it comes from that one. The majority of the text, anytime I'm texting you, it comes from the other number, trust me. Well, every text I got in my phone from you is from that. I'm looking at all on right now. It's for, okay, let me check something that no, it's only you. It's only only you and this thing right here. Everything you ever sent me. Okay, give me the, give me the last two numbers of the telephone you're using and want me to send it to right now, and then you're gonna get two words, dummy rabbit. Okay, send it to the one you called this morning. Remember, I called them both. They both went to damn voicemail. Thank you. Hey, one twenty one, come here. Hey, rabbit. Um, rabbit break.
you'll you, you, you'll have a text by 11 a.m. Um, you'll have a text on your phone by uh, somewhere between 9 and 11 a.m., dude. That's the earliest I can probably get 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 the answer back from her. So, um, you'll you'll have that information, you know, before your lunch on Monday. I'm glad you got that bread now, cause I want to make that shit happen like yesterday. So just chill. I'll see you. I you get your number Monday morning. Well, Roger. How about that one twenty one? How about that one twenty one? Come in. Now, Rabbit, Rabbit, you got two texts from me, and I still ain't got the return on that. I ain't got the text yet. I'm waiting for the text. Oh, yeah? Well, you better you better, you better, better manually go into your inbox and see what's up, because I have a funny feeling you might be late on your notifications. Hey, Brooklyn Kid, Rabbit shouting you out, Brooklyn Kid. Where you at with this moment, Rabbit? I'm home. Your radio sound broken out? Nah, you sound beautiful. Give me, give me two cross streets. Franklin Gates. Thank you. I mean, somebody was just telling me you were trying to shout me out. I don't know why you were telling me that, because I'm listening. What would you say, Brooklyn Kid? I said somebody just told me you were trying to shout me out for some reason. Brooklyn Kid, did you bump your mic knob or your power mic? Because you started to squeal a little bit. So, Brooklyn Kid, breaking up to you? No, he didn't break up at all. He just had a squeal in there for a split second. Like, maybe the, he bumped the, mic, the power mic or the battery might have taken his dip. Oh, yeah, because he got a little low. I don't know what you mean, Rich. What you mean, Richie? Oh, no, you're loud and clear. Maybe somebody keyed up for you. All right, you good. No, Brother Key, how do you radio sound on that where you at? Oh, you loud and clear. You loud and clear, country. Uh, okay, because, yeah, my friends at Carmen said I was breaking up over there in Queens, so I was trying to figure out. No, you in my hood. I hear you loud and clear. All right, all right, man. It's old 2 p.m. sound word, and it's old 29. The only breaking up is because he's rolling down the road and his shit is shaking and one of his connectors or his antenna mountain bracket, something's loose. That's the only thing that would make you appear like that when you're not, because that's his receive. So, you know, you're steady, you're nice, you're good. There's no breakup or chop out, no how, no how, anywhere. Alright, because it may be what it was when I had, the, uh, I, had the, I had this D-104, I ain't know I had bumped it up too high, it was like on five. I had to turn it back down to like one and a half. Yeah, but that wouldn't make you have a breakup effect. That would just have your audio clipping. That wouldn't chop your signal like that. Oh, okay, okay. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, I'm good on this side, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I try to make it sound okay. I don't want to sound too bad. You know what I'm saying? Some days I put Richie Radio there. Some days I put the Country Rabbit technology in. Now, here's some Mud Duck Group technology right here, though. I'm just trying it out. The Mud Duck doing this thing, though. Hey, Rabbit. 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 Brooklyn Kid Mobile City, you doing this thing. Thank you, Brooklyn Kid. Thank you, Brooklyn Kid. I couldn't do it without my friend 121 Tri-State Mud Duck. He wanted to help it out last night. We just did a little things, a little screws, a little turning. You should listen to Richard a little bit. And then we did our thing. All right, I'm tired of schooling the Mud Ducks. to pay attention, huh? But then the rest, we went to YouTube, and then the rest, we just started doing for ourselves.
Kiev. We go to, we go to Kiev or somebody on our, on our station. We got our own personal station, which I can't say what it is, but we start doing our things on it. Thank God for the MTA. I guess it makes them feel like when they really want to talk, they're going to have to tell you to take it to another channel. That That is if it's important to them. Red Hook swears he's in Red Hook, Brooklyn. We already know that, man. Just let him perpetrate his fraud. Let him believe he's doing what he's doing. I like it. I keep him strictly on the pay me no mind list and his rise in berserk. Yes, sir. Oh, you still up? Yeah, man. I was just uh, crossing the room now, man. I just got to title and unload this video. I'll send it to you, man. You sound wicked. I hear that. I hope I do. Send me the video, Rich. All right. Let me hit these buttons. Exactly, exactly. Horsehead. If you want to ride, don't ride the white ponies. That's what I want you to do. I want you to sit on my white pony and ride it. Oh, Richie, I know who that is. That's that pervert. Okay, Richie, I ain't getting involved in that. I'm gone. I'm not getting involved in it either. I'm going to let that fag sing me a lullaby to sleep. I'm clear.
check, one, two, three. No doubt, Brigham Kid, no doubt, no doubt. You said I heard it, Brigham Kid. Me and my little station. Yeah, y'all cats ain't gonna let me crawl in this bed tonight, are you? Nah, man. I need to know how my little fucked up two pill working, man. How it sounding out there? Well, then you're gonna have to wait for the video gate. And right now it's on 33 minutes and 19 seconds as I go. That would be the second video gate tonight of your weekend edition. Damn it, boy. You can't say damn. That shit sound like it's on frequency. Yo, it sound like uh, it needs some work or it sounds good? Well, I tell you, you sound excellent as far as I could hear. Off frequency, I don't think so. Not that my ear could tell. If you just said you're working in any kind of amplifier, then all I'm gonna tell you is everything is working 10 a straight straighter than I've ever heard you. Striker telling you he hears you loud and clear? You know what he does? He, he says something and then he jump out of the truck. He go in and out the vehicle with that bullshit. No, nah, I'm outside. I'm doing something. I just got out of work. So I would say, hold on, Strike a second. I know, but the man told you you sound loud and clear and you didn't even acknowledge him. All right, Striker, try it again. Loud and clear. 
Striker, you mean Brooklyn Kid, Striker? Hello, Strikers. You mean Brooklyn Kid? Yeah, Brooklyn Kid, I'm back right now. Yeah, I was trying to shout you out. You said you were the one and all you were reading them. I, I, I'll show you. Rabbit, call Striker. Striker, Striker, Striker. Hey, what's up, man? It's Striker 490. What's up? I hear you out there, 490. You're 121, somewhere around. Rosedale, Queens. Striker, you got a copy of Brooklyn Kid Mobile? Hello, Striker. You got a copy of Brooklyn Kid Mobile? Yeah, Brooklyn Kid Mobile. I hear you loud and clear. The Mobile break. I hear you, Brooklyn Kid. I hear you. Well, I just strike. I appreciate that wave, and I'm back quiet. Yeah, we hear you loud and proud. We hear you loud and proud, Brooklyn Kid. Kid Brooklyn Kid, we hear you loud and proud right there. Well, I'm in Canarsie. I'm not down. He's downtown. Uh, country rabbit, say something for yourself, baby. You're in Canarsie. You got one out there in uh, Rosedale. Or, uh, 121. Where'd you say you were again? This is a nice video. It's at 37 minutes. 121. Where you at? All right, the MTA got you that round. They, they'll figure it out. I'll hear the video later, man. Yes, yeah, Striker, you're doing real good. The only one that has a problem hearing you right now is Rabbit. That's because he ain't got his head on. You know, that Rabbit, he always got to set up his butt. Yeah, I don't hear C. I don't hear Fortnite. I don't hear C. I hear Richie. I hear uh, Brooklyn Kid. I don't hear 121. I don't even hear him. But I know 121 said he in uh, uh, Rosedale, though. Brad, but what part of Queens is uh, 121 in? He said Rosedale. All right, Canarsie, you're making it to Rosedale, uh, Striker. Uh, 121, he, obviously you can't hear him, but he hears you, so that's a plus right there. I don't know where Rabbit's at. Rabbit, what's your location? Uh, same place, Franklin and Gates. I'm between two buildings, and I'm between two, two three buildings, really, so tall-ass building. I can't get out like that. I hear him. I hear him every now and then, but it's low. All right, so you know he gets an idea. All right, you're in Canarsie. He's over there by Franklin and Gates, by around Fulton Street, stuck between some buildings. Okay. I'm in Best Buy. Yeah. I can barely hear him, but I hear him. I'm I'm closer up to 121 than that rabbit is, but I can't hear him either. I don't know if he reading me. Hello, 121 Brooklyn Kid Mobile. Hello, 121 Brooklyn Kid Mobile on the on the Ocean Hill Brownville side, Mega. I'm hearing somebody from Brownsville, but I can barely hear them. What you want? You got a copy on Brooklyn Kid, Ocean Hill, Brownsville? What? what is your amp on, Striker? You got a copy on Brooklyn Kid Mobile? I'm standing by. Striker, is your, what is your amp on? What stage? It's on medium right now. I don't have it on high. It's on medium. All right, click into the high spot. Let me hear something. Hey, Stritchy. Uh, 121 said he hear you and the guy with the 490. Hey, Brooklyn Kid, 121 said he'll hear you. But, hey, just like you said, you'll hear him. Yeah, four rounds, you rabbit. I appreciate that. Kick that amp up in the high. It's on high right now. It's on high. Keep it there. That's the way to rock and roll right now. You hear what he said? I hear what he's saying. I heard him. Brooklyn Kid got a real good copy on to you. Call Brooklyn Kid. Yeah, definitely, Striker. Your numbers went up. I heard you when you teed up. Your numbers definitely went up. Hey, 
I'm not going to lie, if my man didn't have a striker there and he had a Galaxy or a Cobra like over here, I'd be running him a two watt dead key into that uh, t four pill, but he got a striker, so I got, I, because of the top end of that radio with audio swing, to keep it under 30, 30 pep, dead key in point six. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but his is geared different. His is geared different, and he's got a striker radio behind it. He ain't got a uh, uh, Cobra like you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm using my unit in right now, but um, I understand. I mean, you know, I might decide to venture up with him and, you know, try to, like, uh, say, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to keep bringing a, uh, a eighth of a watt more into the tune-up as dead key, to see if we could push the limit or find the spot in this box. But the way I got him working right now and the way he sounds is shit. I, I want to touch that. Hey, Mr. C, you want to change that phone number for a different radio? Yo, yo. Somebody want to buy that radio for you. One of my, one of my mother group want to buy that radio and that phone number is for you. I didn't say a word. It's on him. I'll listen to you. How much you want for that four nine striker? To be honest with you, dude, I, I, you know, as much as I want to put input here right now, I know we discussed something uh, a week ago, but I'm going to leave that in your ballpark because I don't want anybody giving me bad lip. So, you know, I'm not going to get in the mix of this, man. He just asked you a straight up question, how much you want for it. So, you know, if it was me, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. You got a pristine strike of 490 in your hand, more gleaming on the inside than it is on the outside. One set of hands been in it, bro. Everything is gleaming. Me personally, I, I wouldn't take a trade, I would take cash. That's that's all that that's just me. Let's be 
being real about how clean something really is. Because I got a full another scratch in the house, but I'm going to trace you my race. 